Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel, Parenting with Purpose. I'm Christian Galloway, and today I'm going to switch it up a lot, <laughs> okay? So this past month, um, I have, you know, just been in prayer and journaling, and some, I can't remember the exact date off the top of my head, but um, one of the days I had a vision, okay? And I want to share this with you. I want to share the vision that God gave me. And I also want to share with you the revelation that he gave me. Uh, this is by no means a prophetic word. I do believe in prophecy, but this is not a prophetic word. Um, this is just a vision that God has given me while I was in prayer. And I want to share that with you. I do believe that oftentimes when God gives us things, it's not just for us. And so this vision is not for everyone, but as you listen to it and if you can relate to it, then by all means, um, go ahead and, you know, receive it and take it into prayer. But again, I just want to share with you the vision that God has given me and the revelation that comes from it. The only thing that I ask is that you allow me to read it because I don't want to do an injustice of trying to remember it verbatim in the way that he gave it to me and in the way that I wrote it down. So that's the only thing that I ask. Okay. So I want to make sure that I give it to you just the way that God gave it to me. Um, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So I'm reading it. I'm reading it to you as I wrote it to God, like the way I journal, I'm writing to God. So I'm almost, it's almost like I'm writing letters to God. So as you listen to me, hopefully it'll make sense as I'm reading it. So I start off and I say, Lord, I see this young girl again who was once covered in dirt and blue metallic scales. When you first showed her to me, she was covered and the scales were falling off. The next time I saw her, I saw the scales removed, but she was, she was still covered in dirt that had hardened over the years. It was packed on her and under the weight of the scales for so long that it had made her look like a pillar of dirt, but underneath, she was still human being. The dirt covered every feature that would allow people to see the gift that she is and carries. Her hair, which is what you say is a glory to her, and her covering. Her head was hanging low from being disappointed so many times, filled with guilt, hurt, shame and defeat. It was filled with the struggle of migraines because of the fear, the misunderstandings, the pressure, the impure thoughts that the enemy tried to feed her, the restless nights from when demons tormented her in the wee hours of the night and morning, screaming in her sleep, yet it only came out as a muffled sound. Her eyes were covered with dirt so she couldn't see her ears were covered with dirt, so she couldn't hear, and she wandered aimlessly. Her mouth covered, and she couldn't speak. Her back was bent from carrying the weight of giving so many undeserved yes and not enough no's. Carrying the weight of cheering others on and not herself. Carrying the weight of those who could do for themselves but chose not to and instead leaned on her, and she took it. Carrying the weight of others' disappointments because she finally started saying no. She finally started doing what was right for her and her son. She finally started seeing things for what they were, and when she thought she got her strength back, the disappointments of others and the isolation from others broke her again, and therefore her back was bent even more. Her legs in a stilled position, showing she had stopped moving forward because the journey had gotten too heavy. Her feet, although, although her feet were together, one foot was bent as if she tried once more. But mid-step, she stopped again because it was just too hard. After all, it looked like she was the only one It looked like she was the only one on this narrow road. 
surrounded by fields. Today, I see this young lady and she is no longer, no longer bound by the dirt and scales that once weighed her down. She's looking up with her head to the sky. What's interesting is that this narrow road she had been on never lost its light. The sun never stopped shining. It was her in a standstill from all the weight of the dirt and scales she'd been carrying all those years. I see her smile that is so contagious. Her presence is so peaceful. She's compassionate, she's grateful, and full of life. I see her twirling around with her arms stretched wide, her head to the sky, smiling in her dress, blowing in the wind. She's alive. And I think about this story. Whew. I think about this story of Jairus and his daughter, and it's found in the book of Mark chapter five. And it's right after, like actually it's before, like Jairus went up to Jesus and told him that his daughter was dying. And so as you know, Jesus had, like Jesus said, okay, you know, basically like he's going with him to Jairus's house. And so midway they were, they paused because that's when the woman with the issue of blood had pulled onto God. Like she pulled, um, she touched the hem of his garment and pulled power from him. And so during that time, Jairus, um, one of Jairus's, um, I forgot what it said, but one of Jairus's men, right? One of his servants uh, came up to him and said, she's dead, like, don't even worry about it. And so when Jesus overheard it, he turned around and told Jairus, he said, only believe, only believe. And so when Jesus got to the scene, like when Jesus got to Jairus's house, he took Peter, James, and John. He only took a few of his disciples, Peter, James, and John. And when he got there, people, they had all this commotion. Jesus was like, what's all this commotion? You know, what's, why are people crying? And they're looking at Jesus like, okay, do you not see that the girl is dead? And he's like, she's not dead. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. And so he kicked everyone out. So it was only a few people that were allowed to be in that intimate space and in that intimate moment, right? Because Jesus was getting ready to perform a miracle. And so she, so the girl is lying on the bed, right? And Jesus took her by the hand, that part. He took her by the hand and he spoke the words of Talitha Kumi, which means little girl arise. And so I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know what you are, you know, what you just walked into or if you're coming out of something. But what I do know, one of my favorite names for God is El Roy, and it means God who sees, God who sees. And so God sees everything. He sits high, he looks low, and he sees everything that you're going through. He sees everything that you've been through, what you're going through, and that you will go through. But one thing I can say is God has never took his hands off of me. He has never took his hands off of me and when he gave me the vision each time that he gave me the vision like three times over you know over a month uh, maybe like a month between a month or two months period of time but each time that he gave me the vision it was in a it was still progressing and so i just want to give some encouragement i want to i wanted to share that vision with you i wanted to share the revelation that god had given me because God sees everything. He sees all of your features that are being hidden, that are being, you know, hidden under the, the filth, under the dirt, under the guilt, the hurt, the shame, defeat, all of that, under the scales, the weights that you've been carrying. And so 
I just wanted to share with you that you are not alone and that God, just like God took Jairus' daughter, he took her by the hand. I can honestly say that God took me by the hand. I've shared my testimony many times on this channel and in bits and pieces, but you know, what I know is that God will never leave you and he will never forsake you. And God sees you. And so if you allow him, let him take you by the hand, let him walk you through this journey. And it is not over until it is good. It is not over until it's good. God is a promise maker and a promise keeper. And in whatever he promised you, he's going to see to it that it comes to pass. So that's all I have for you. I hope and pray to God that this vision, that this revelation that God has given me, um, I pray that it has blessed you, that, you know, the same way that it has blessed me or even more. Um, if you know someone that it will help, that it will encourage, go ahead and share this video with them. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good, uh, have a good weekend.